Regarding the universities as a wellspring of radical liberal ideologies, yeah. uh, Jordan Peterson, Jason Hill at DePaul University has called for defunding disciplines, speci specifically identity studies, sociology, for yeah. being the wellspring of postmodernism. Do you agree with that as a solution? Well, who is going to defund them? So I've, I've, for many, many, many years, when I speak to business groups, I say, if you want to help America, the one best thing you can do to help America is stop giving your alma mater money. Because you're giving money to the institutions that are teaching that you're a bad guy. By being a capitalist, by being a businessman, you're bad. So stop doing it in your own self-defense. Stop funding your enemy. So I'm all for defunding them in that sense. Now, again, do we want politics, do we want politicians to decide which departments are acceptable and which departments are not acceptable? Now, I would like, in my fantasies, I would like government to get out of funding education completely. I would like UT to become a private university. Right? It's rich enough. It's got all, the, all, all those oil wells in uh, East Texas. Um, I don't want government to be involved in funding because th that's the danger. That some politician says, There's a, that economics department way too capitalist. Cut them off, right? And, and I'm sure it's happened. I wouldn't be at all surprised that it's happened, right? Um, so private people, absolutely. I mean, if you're, if, if you're an alma mater and they want money, send it to the engineering school or to the sciences or to the medical school. But don't give the money to the humanities or even to the business school because business schools are anti-business. Business schools are anti-business, including the one at UT. I was there. Right? And I know the professors. Some of them are good. Some of them are not in a sense of pro-business. They teach, you know, they teach bad stuff. So if I had the money, I don't give to my alma mater because of this. Because I, I want to control. If I'm going to give the money, I want to make sure that it's going to promote values I believe in. And if every businessman did that, if every businessman did that. I, there was a story a long time ago and. It's not that long ago, probably in the last 10 years at Duke University, Duke in North Carolina. Uh, the, the, student, um, the student newspaper published this interview with a philosophy professor who was, at, he was asked, why are most of the professors at the universities left? Why is Duke so dominantly left? I guess the newspaper did, went into the uh, uh, voting records and discovered that everybody's a registered Republican. Like, this is in the, in the South, right, in North Carolina. 80% of the professors were registered Democrats. Right? So he asked the philosophy professor, why is this? And the philosophy said, basically quoting John Stuart Mill, conservatives are just stupid. He said this, right? Conservatives are stupid. So they don't get PhDs, so they're not professors. So we're not going to hire them at Duke. We only hire the best professors. And since conservatives are stupid, we'll only hire liberals because they're, they're the smart ones, right? Now you would think, now who's the alma mater? Who is funding Duke University? It's a private university. Who's funding Duke? The alma mater. And who are the alma mater? They're business leaders all over the South. Now one of them is a Democrat, is my guess, right? Did they stop funding Duke because of that? There was an uproar, there were shouts, there were yells, people banged. The Board of Trustees came out with all kinds of statements. Alumni said, oh, we'll never give you money. And the next day they gave the money. So, you know, yeah. I think, I think it'd be good if there was an attempt at Dartmouth for where the Board of Trustees run by alumni to, to change the policies at Dartmouth, and it was squashed by the faculty. And at the end of the day, the faculty win. So if you want to defund them through the private sector, through alumni, through donors, absolutely, go ahead and do it. I'm all for it. I think that's the only way universities will change. Well, there's another way universities will change, which is the other thing Jordan Peterson is doing. He's starting an online university. So the, the real way, or he, 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 I think he's starting a rank, he wants to rank universities, rank these departments, so parents see what they're paying for. And then he also wants to start an online university. The real solution is competition. Ultimately, there will be something that changes this, the, the, you know, like Uber for universities, that really changes the whole structure of the industry. Yeah, 
Yeah, I mean, Jonathan Haidt's very good on this. There are a lot of people. I mean, one of the good things that's come out in the last few years is there's a whole group of people clustered, I'd say, politically in the middle primarily. And Jonathan Haidt runs the Heterodoxy Academy. You can look it up online, which monitors kind of politically correct BS on campuses and monitors this kind of social justice stuff. And he said you have to choose between truth and, and, uh, and social justice. You need to ask Jonathan Haidt what he considers truth. That, that's a whole other interesting question. Um, but, you know, he's, he's right. And there is a movement. You know, the intellectual dark web and, uh, and people affiliated with that. There is a whole movement to try to correct this at the universities or at least try to offer an alternative. And a lot of you get a lot of stuff from YouTube that you don't get at universities, right? You, you watch Dave Rubin, who does these amazing interviews with intellectuals that don't teach at UT. And you probably get more out of some of those interviews that you get some of, out of some of your classes, because you get some of the top people. And this is what I mean by they're going to be disruptive technological forces that change, change our universities. It's before I send to the next question. Let me correct you in one thing. The university, Duke's not private. I, as a Duke alum, I can tell that 50% of the funding is public. Yes. The donation you make, 30% of it is off, off taxes, rebates that you're taking, and then the rest of it is coming from the NSF. So it's, it's in a, the funds have been larger, right? Because they are, they are a cartel. We are a cartel funded by the government. In a sense, there's no private universities in America today <laughs> because, because all your student loans are funded by, the, by, by government. So there, there is no such thing as a private university. There's no private, real private education, unfortunately, in the U.S., but that's, that's tragedy. Well, there's Hillsdale, College of those Ozarks, I haven't heard of that one. But Hillsdale was famous for being the only real private one because they didn't take any government money. So I, it's good to know that there's a second one as well. Yeah. Oh.